Sharpening a pencil goes a long way. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sharpen your pencil and make a sanding block. Getting your tools to work with you and not against you is going to help you achieve a lot in your work. If you don't have access to a high quality pencil sharpener, this technique is really going to help. What's up creatives? Timothy Jan here. I'm a draftsman, painter, and a teacher, making videos to help improve your art. What you'll need for this project. Sandpaper. Scissors. A piece of wood or a cardboard box. Tape. Pencil. Straight edge razor or a razor knife. To make your own sanding block, trace the wood base on the back of the sandpaper. Cut the sandpaper and tape it down to the base. Don't place tape on the bottom edge where the pencil is going to make contact. When trimming the pencil, cut the unwanted wood off of the pencil. Remember to always cut away from your body. Remove the wood slowly as to not damage the charcoal or the graphite. Press the blade with the thumb of your non-dominant hand. This will help you from slapping at the point and lower the risk of cutting yourself. When the appropriate amount of charcoal or graphite is exposed, place the pencil perpendicular to your sanding block. While moving your hand left to right, rotate the pencil. This will allow you to achieve an even point. A long point can be limiting. Many students get really excited by how long they can make the point of the pencil. Note, by exaggerating the length of the point, you minimize your ability to utilize pressure with your application. This can slow down your production and reduce your efficiency. When you shave your pencils back, it can be a little bit messy. A very simple technique is to create a little workstation for your garbage can. Cut a piece of wood a little bit longer than the garbage can with two little strips on the inside to hold it in place. When the garbage can is open, you can place this here and place all of your working materials here. If you're cutting multiple pencils, they can stay on here. This way you can do a whole bunch of work in one setting, keep everything neat, and keep your studio nice, clean, and ready to go. For more useful studio tips, check out my art tips playlist. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Go and be creative and make some art today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.